Welcome to Ismail Flores' Energy Efficient Home Design. Hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned. Pictured are four images from the outside of my house from multiple angles. They are ordered from left to right. Beginning with the left photo is an image of the upper right hand corner of my house. You can see that my house consists of two windows and one front door. The second photo is the back left hand corner of my house. There are absolutely no windows on this corner besides the zigzag attic design made up of popsicle sticks. On the third image, you can see why I incorporated the term zigzag to the zigzag house design made up of popsicle sticks. For this design, I had to cut through the popsicle sticks to not only make it seem more efficient and professional, but to make it look realistic. And the final image is just a front glimpse of the view of the front of my house. With that being said, we could then move on to the insulation process of the door. Now my door insulation began with a layer of bubble wrap, what I call the inner layer. I then covered that layer of bubble wrap with a layer of felt. All in all, it turned out to be as thick as one centimeter, which met the requirements. Similarly, I also incorporated clay and weather strips into my windows. As you can see in this image, the clay was put around the inner cardboard of the square that was cut out to put the window in. The weather strips were incorporated as outer frames to not only add character and humor to the house, but to also add extra insulation to avoid any air from trespassing into the house. Without further ado, and last but not least, let's talk about the walls, floors, and ceiling. In this case, the roof. The insulation process began with a layer of bubble wrap glued onto the cardboard wall. I then covered the layer of bubble wrap with a layer of white poster board. Not to mention the floor was insulated with thick felt and covered in poster board as well. If you can recall back to the second slide, you can see that my roof is pretty creative. The roof has actually another layer behind the felt, and that layer is a layer of tissue or cardboard paper. It is a very thin paper, but thick at the same time. I covered it with brown paint, and I just felt like it wasn't secure enough. I decided to then cut out strips that turned out to look like fish skin. And is the reason why I call my roof a fishkin roof. It looks pretty nice and it actually turned out as I expected. Just by the results of my temperature change, I can automatically tell that my insulation was profound. My initial temperature began with a temperature of 22.1 degrees Celsius. After I incorporated the eight ice cubes in a baggie inside the house, my temperature dropped to 14 degrees Celsius with a total temperature change of 8.1 degrees Celsius. I thought that was phenomenal. How have I made my house efficient? Well, that's quite simple. I first started with insulating the walls, doors, and all the windows, especially the roof. Overall, I insulated the areas that mostly would possibly allow most air to enter the house. How can I make my house more energy conservation and conservative? Well, that's simple too. Close the door and open it only when necessary. Remember that when you shut that door, you're always allowing that access warm 
heat of air to enter your house. Secondly, apply as much windows as possible to allow more natural lighting rather than using electricity or light bulbs, which will only help to heat up your house a lot more. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.